my eye decided to get a sty for whatever reason. On the day that I'm batch filming, I can't put on my contacts, put on mascara before I realize I had a sty, so we're swinging with that, but um, I can't see shit. My glasses are right here, but they reflect the light, so we're doing this. No vision whatsoever. I hope I don't squint the entire video because that would be so bad for you. I'm so sorry. I'm already doing it. I can't see shit. Hello everybody, welcome back to Making It Up. I'm Isa and it's favorites time, baby. I haven't done a favorites in a while, I think in like four months, three, four months. You guys know the drill, I don't do favorites every month because I don't try enough product every month to have new faves. But I have a few new products, new to me, not like new, new, but I have a few products that I've been loving lately that I cannot wait to talk about. As always, it's mostly beauty. <gasps> Why can't I breathe? That's weird. Mostly beauty, a little bit of lifestyle sprinkled in, all the good things you guys wanna know about. And today I'm going to share all of them with you. So if you're curious, then keep watching because I'm about to share my faves. Let's get started with some good old skincare. First up, I have the La Roche-Posay. I don't know how to say this, but the Cicaplast Balm B5. Everyone talks about this, okay? Everyone loves this. This is a skin lifesaver. It's everything to me, honestly. This is just basically like a repairing balm. It's a soothing repairing balm. I like to use this whenever my skin barrier is compromised because either I exfoliate it a little too much or I get like hives because I've been just kissing my dog and I'm allergic to dogs, those kinds of things. This is perfect for that. Or if I ever need something like a little boost of hydration, this is just perfect to repair your skin barrier and to make your skin look amazing. If you have acne, if you have dry skin, if you have sensitive skin, I will say it is very very emollient so if you have more oily skin then this might be a little heavy for you but uh it's 100% worth it I think they also have a gel version of this but this is so good if your skin's red and irritated if you have bumps if you have breakouts it's so good for everything I love it uh this is my second tube I don't know if I've already talked about this I don't think I have uh, it's a must always will repurchase moving on to some makeup the first one is a primer that I've been loving this is the Inglot Moonlight Illuminating Face Primer and this really surprised me because I bought it having zero expectations but this is just like a primer like an illuminating primer it's gorgeous it gives you that like glow from within look it does have shimmer but it isn't I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell but it does have that beautiful shimmer that isn't too glittery or too chunky it's just enough it's perfect to mix with your foundation but I prefer it as a primer because this gives you that glow from within very natural but it also has like a like a stickiness to it it has a grip so when you you apply your makeup on top it grips into your primer and it stays on longer which is great because a lot of like illuminating primers just illuminate they don't really like prep the skin for more makeup so this is perfect if you tend to you know notice your makeup rubbing off throughout the day like if you're in need of a primer that's gripping and that'll make your makeup last longer but you also want that glow this is just the best of both worlds Inglot is such an underrated brand and this is the shade full moon they have a few different shades to suit different skin tones um but this is I think the lightest one which suits me it's honestly mwah, chef's kiss up next I have the KVD beauty shake primer high impact eyeshadow primer this is such a weird product you have to shake it it's like a bio phase product it's kind of oily so you shake it and then there's a little button right here which you push and then product comes out it is a very weird product and I bought it because Samantha Ravin and all was raving about it and she's a queen so of course I had to try it out and I was pleasantly surprised this is very like oily liquidy so when you apply it it's clear you see nothing and it's a little oily once it dries down you can't see it you can't feel it and that is why I love this for my cream eyeshadows usually with creams I never wear primer because I find that it skips and it's not it's not the vibe but with this I don't have that problem at all. And I find that this really helps diminish the creasing with my cream eyeshadows and with my eye glosses because I love wearing eye gloss, but it does get creasy. This helps it be a lot less creasy and I am into it. I really love this. Also works really well with like regular eyeshadow, like powder eyeshadow. I do like to set it before so that it blends seamlessly, but it just works great. It prolongs the wear of the eyeshadow. It makes it a little more vibrant. 
It's a weird formula. Somehow it works and I'm obsessed with it. I haven't been able to put it down. Up next, I have another Inglot product. Inglot is killing it right now in my opinion. Um, this is the Inglot Aquastic Cream Eyeshadow in the shade 12. Another product that really surprised me. When I swatched this, I think I've talked about this in like one of my vlogs previously, but the moment I swatched this, I knew this was it for me. It looks super metallic intense. Yes, it does. I freaking love the color as well, like a rosy champagne. But when you blend this out, do you see that? Do you see it? It gets so, I mean, now it's all over my hand, but you can't see it as potent as you did before. So once it blends out, it almost looks wet on my lids, which you guys know I love that wet look without having to wear an eye gloss. Like, as you can see the reflective of this. It's amazing. You get a little bit of time to play with it, blend it out, but once it sets, it sets. It has minimal creasing. I just love it. It's so pretty. It suits my skin tone very, very well. I can't stop looking at it. You can build it up and make it a little more intense, but I like to use it more natural to give me that wet look. It's so, so nice and it lasts so long. It's so easy to use. It's the perfect one shadow look and I'm obsessed. I've been using it a lot. It's so, so, so nice. I can't, I'm, I can't stop doing this. I hope you guys can see what I see because I can't see anything right now. Up next, I have the NYX Thicket Stick It Thickening Brow Mascara. I have the shade Espresso. Everyone has been raving about this on TikTok, on YouTube. I bought it a few months ago and I've been trying it out. I freaking love it a lot. This is a perfect like eyebrow filler and setter. It has little fibers. The wand is kind of big. It's a little big. It gets a little messy. I'm not gonna lie. And this has fibers in it. So it makes my brows look super fluffy. It fills them in fairly well. Like whenever I use this, I don't feel the need to use anything else. And it stays on very well throughout the day. It isn't super crunchy hard brow gel, you know the ones. Or my everyday, I like something that's a little more natural. This looks natural while filling in, so it's like a two-in-one. Super quick. I love it so much. They have a lot of shades too. I've been using it almost daily. It's just so easy to use, easy to build up if I want a more dramatic look. It's just so versatile. Love her. Mwah. Up next, I have the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Set Plus Refresh Spray. I'm not sure if I've talked about this on a favorites before, but I have this small version of it, which is perfect for travel, but I love this so much because I love the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. It's so good. It My skin just loves it. It prolongs the wear of my makeup. So when this came out, I was like, of course I'm gonna use it. The mist is like, first you have to shake it, but the mist, mmm, mmm. It's so fine. It's just, oh, I just inhaled it. It even tastes good, but the mist is so fine. It coats your skin delicately. There's no water droplets or anything. And I like this because it refreshes the skin. It hydrates it, but it also sets it. So it doesn't leave you looking super dewy, which I don't like for a setting spray. I like my setting sprays to like sink into my skin and settle. So this is perfect, but it also prolongs the wear of my makeup, which is amazing because that's something that I also look in a setting spray. Whenever I feel like my makeup is looking kind of bleh and it needs a little bit of a refresh, this is my go-to or whenever I. I feel like really tight and I need some hydration. I use this. It's perfect. It doesn't disturb my makeup. It is so fine. It is so pretty and I like to travel with it because it's small. They also have a bigger bottle but I really like this one. I will say if you want your makeup to last like all night or whatever, I go for the all nighter setting spray, the Charlotte Tilbury one. I like to use this more for my everyday makeup where I need it to last but I don't need it to look perfect or look a certain way for a long period of time. I just, you know, need my makeup to stay on my face. Next, Next favorite is my Spectrum X Katie Jane Hughes collection. This is a 25 piece. Set. I've just talked about this in a video like super in depth going over every single brush that's in here I'm gonna leave that down below or in the little thing that comes up here I don't even know what it's called, but yeah, these are amazing some of the best quality brushes I've ever tried They're super soft. They make me look better I don't know how to explain it, but brushes like this just make my makeup go on so much better It's so much easier to blend. They're just so good. I love them favorite brushes probably that I've ever tried Honestly, they're amazing. If you want more details, go watch my review. My last product is a nail product, which is weird because you guys, I my nails are done. I never do my nails, okay? I'm not a nail person until now, and it's because of this product. This is the SE Speed Setter Top Coat. My nails always chip. My nails always look bad. Like, I have ugly nails to start with. They're really tiny, and I like to keep them small. For some reason, like, whenever they're long, I just feel very inconvenienced. I can't take off my contacts properly, so I just keep them short. But 
I've been wanting to do my nails more because from the minute that I tried this Ezzy Speed Setter top coat, life has been better. I apply a few coats of my favorite nail polishes, normal, I don't do gel, I don't do anything like that, just like regular nail polish. And I apply this on top, oh my god, first of all, it, it sets really fast, as the name suggests, like it sets super quickly. I avoid effing up my nails in the first five minutes when I literally just got finished and I'm like, oh, I really need to pee like this moment, this instant, you know, that feeling, so I don't have to worry about that because they set really quickly and they also last very long like usually for me like day three they start chipping depending on what I'm doing I do use my hands for a lot of things so they will chip eventually but with this they start chipping around day six or seven which is like a full week of like regular nail polish and it's all because of this it's clear it leaves my nails looking super glossy and nice and it just works for what it's supposed to but I've never tried a top coat quite as good as this one as he speeds Better, best of the best, honestly. Okay, and that was it for the beauty portion of the favorites. Now we move on to lifestyle a little bit more. And today I only have one lifestyle favorite, and that is a podcast. It's called Viene Va by Dani Schulz. I think I've talked about her before in like my Q&A video. I'm not sure, but she is a content creator. She also has like a social media strategy business. She's just an amazing human being, and I love her. And this podcast, I mean, she is a favorite in general, to be completely honest with you. I love her TikToks. I love her Instagram, but her podcast is the one that like really speaks to me and I never miss an upload. It is in Spanish. She's from Ecuador, so she does speak Spanish. So if you speak Spanish, if you're from Latin America, then you will love this podcast. If you speak English, it's not gonna be great for you because this is obviously in Spanish and you won't understand anything, but her podcast is just a breath of fresh air. Every topic is always just so informative. It always hits home. It's deep, but it's also fun. Like I always come out of her podcast learning something, but it's not like a boring informational podcast. It's, it's very interactive. She's such a great host. I just, I love her. I learn a lot from her and I'm just, I love everything that she does. This podcast is amazing. Definitely recommend if you speak Spanish. It's just mwah. I only listen to very few podcasts and this is one of the this is one of the lucky ones that gets into my feed. It's so good. And that my friends closes out another round of beauty and lifestyle favorites. Again, please excuse me for my squinting. And if this video is not completely in focus, I can't see anything. But anyways, let me know what you guys have been loving lately. Like what has made it into your favorites? Let's discuss. I've shared mine. Now it's time for you to share yours. If you enjoyed this video, then please make sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. Let's me know you guys are vibing with my content. And if you're into super easy and real makeup and beauty videos like this one, then please make sure to subscribe. I post videos every single week and I would love to have you. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something new and I hope to see you right here for my next one. I love you guys. Bye. Mwah.